Hey guys, welcome back to Selfie Style. Today I'm going to continue my series of reviewing my favorite films. This time I'll be reviewing Matrabhumi, A Nation Without Women. This film is fairly unknown but should be known by cinema lovers in India and perhaps some around the world as well. It has done well in film festivals. So today I'm going to be reviewing Matrabhumi, A Nation Without Women. Let's get started. This film is one that many may have not heard of. It did fairly well in a few film festivals, but according to me, it hasn't received the appreciation or the cult status that it deserves. However, in 2003, when it was released, Time Magazine did regard this as one of the best films of the year. If I was to put up some adjectives to describe this film, then shocking, disturbing, provocative, and powerful would be the right words to describe this film. This is not an easy film to watch, but for cinema lovers, I highly recommend this film. For the first couple minutes of the film, there is no dialogue. However, it sets off the main premise of this film beautifully. The first dialogue of this film is by a woman saying in a disappointed manner, Ladki hai, after someone gives birth to a girl child. The disappointed father, who is hoping for a boy, drowns the girl in a bucket of milk in a public ceremony. The film then jumps way into the future, where this unchecked trend of female infanticide has led the village to become populated mostly by just males and a tiny number of older women. For those who don't know what female infanticide is, it is the deliberate killing of girl babies, common in societies where girls are considered inferior and a burden where families prefer a son. No doubt, it is very common even today. However, this film projects a dark futuristic tale on the consequences of female infanticide. In this futuristic world, not only do women barely exist, but men have turned into sex-starved monsters. This film has many noteworthy moments, combining symbolism with the harsh reality of something so unfortunate. One example is when we see a group of men watching a porn video with tears in their eyes since they can never really feel the warmth of a woman. They don't know what love is and have a very perverse understanding of relationships, only capable of perceiving women as sex objects. There are many such noteworthy moments in this film that delve into the psychology of men in this dark future. The real plot begins when a man, looking worriedly for a bride for the eldest of his five sons, comes across a young woman named Kalki. She is the only female in sight and is sold off by her own father who is desperate for money. One can only imagine the ordeals that a lone woman would face in a sex-starved society. Shockingly, she is married to all of the five brothers. From here onwards, Kalki represents the pain of all women, a woman in a man's world. She goes through one horrific ordeal after another while becoming close to one of her husbands who is different from the rest. The chemistry between them is innocent and sweet in an otherwise horrid environment. From a technical standpoint, this film is very simple because it doesn't really require anything too complicated. The story does the job for you. The cinematography is rustic, the editing complements the narrative, and the screenplay is very well written. This is the type of film that has many moments that are impactful and many scenes that are impactful, more than the usual beginning, middle, and end narrative. Tulip Joshi, who plays Kalki, the protagonist, delivers a very restrained performance. Her suppressed character doesn't really speak much, but has a lot to say. With her subtle facial expressions, she has communicated the emotions with total perfection. This is completely her film, along with the director's film. Manish Jha has written and directed this film beautifully. This is a film that I watched, just randomly I found it on the internet, and then it just stayed with me. All right, so I highly recommend this film. Watch it with a strong heart, guys. All right, I'll be back again. This is Selfie Style on the spot. Like, share, subscribe, guys. I'll be back. Peace out. Bye.